Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Picture so perfect we play Hello wonderful people, welcome back again to Anointed Lady TV The home of news and politics And we drop news every day And we also react to every videos that comes our way if it is your first time in this channel you are highly welcome thank you so much for stopping by and if you are returning subscribers we appreciate you for your massive support and we say may god richly bless you all for supporting this channel and if you haven't subscribed please kindly smash on the subscribe button put on the bell so you get to know anytime we drop a new video i have a video to present to you this very moment and i will be watching that video with you and after watching let's drop our opinion constructively at the comment section like our videos and also share our videos if possible bye for now dead and arrested and got it tired they are lucky but i'm sure lagos people are doing what they need to do they need food. so please five o'clock let's get back here but before we go we are going to take our whatsapp uh, Good. Numbers for those who don't have answer, please. Sorry, sir. Before that, there's something very important we need to address. Um, in the course of the protest, the police officer, very senior police officer who stopped us with his policemen, said the speaker on the Rubaja Amila asked that they should stop us. And the man put a call directly to the speaker. I am saying this because. The speaker actually occupies a very sensitive and important position in this country. Yes, yes. sir. That right honorable Femi Bajabi Amila could ask that the police officer should stop oh, us. Oh, that's police. Order them to stop us from getting to the National Assembly is disappointing. And we want to say this, that this is a huge disappointment on his part. And there's a need for him to apologize to the Nigerian people. Mm -mm. Nigerians were protesting peacefully. The was the is he a man or Igwe? Something Igwe. Ben Igwe. Ben Igwe was standing on behalf of the Commission of Police. It's the DCP operation. F City. The speaker called him in our presence, and he said, "I flushed them away. We are going to hold the speaker accountable for this. Beyond this administration." Femi Bajabi Amila, we give explanation for this nonsense. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. And to add to what has been said, yes, yes. it's so sad that the Nigerian police force, whom we the taxpayers are the ones that pay their salary, would have the temerity to try and stop a protest of the Nigerian people. Nigerian youths were killed at Lake Toll Gates on 10 20 2020. Till today, no officer has been arrested for this egregious atrocity. And just today when we try to draw the world's attention to this particular horrendous crime against the Nigerian people, the Nigerian wing of the political class, the, sorry, the military wing of the political class tried to stop us. Well, the people united, as we say, can never be defeated. We had and we achieved more success than we thought we even set out to achieve in the future. And we'll meet again by five. And we'll meet again by five o'clock for the candidate position. Let me also add that a rebellion is coming that nobody will be able to stop. No one can add that to stop. The police will see it and run away. Or the army will see it and abandon their weapons. Or they will have no option than to join us. So, thank you everyone. And this statement has its truth in the constitution which proclaims that the true survey are the people of Nigeria from whom governments through this constitution derives all its powers and authorities. Mm -hmm. So the people surveying, the people who are the true surveying, once we say enough is enough, and we come out to assemble and say we united we stand, no force or not can stop us, not even the government, because we are the true surveying in this country. So please, yes. Yes. Uh, we want you to disperse peacefully. If there's any police harassment, we'll give you a hotline to call us so that we can intervene on your behalf immediately. Otherwise, we'll be back here by 5 p.m. Thank you. Aluta! Aluta! I need all those names. That's my last name. My first name is Kuala.
Because it's the first time young people in Nigeria of this new generation got a real voice to fight against an oppressive system that has kept them impoverished, unemployed, sick, and depressed. The one that has given them a fake kind of democracy run by morons. The one I describe as morontocracy. And during that period, they were met with the first form of crude force, particularly at Lekki Togate. A lot of young people's lives were wasted by the regime led by a former major general in the Nigerian army, Muhammadu Buhari. A connivance with the civilian governor of Lagos State, Gide Sonwolu, and several officers of the Nigerian military. Some of them now trying to gain some fake immunity from prosecution, like Buratai. We are here to remind the Nigerian people that the biggest rebellion is yet to come. But this day must be commemorated because it was the day the worst atrocity was committed against Nigerian youth who fought against police brutality. But the mistake they made was that answers was just a metaphor for a people who were tired of bad leadership. It wasn't about police brutality alone. In fact, NSAS was generous enough to include police welfare as part of their demands. If they really hated police, they wouldn't have included a welfare package as part of their demands. But it was a warning sign to the dinosaurs in power that their time will soon be over. Yes. The second leg of it is to do a memorial, a solar memorial for those who were killed at Lekki Togate and across Nigeria during that period today. And as such, we will still be back in the evening for a candlelight uh, procession around here. So that's the essence of the gathering today. Of course, we have heard that uh, the police, directed by the Speaker of the House of uh, Representatives, stopped us from going to the National Assembly. But we use the opportunity to do more protests in town, conscientization. And um, we just came back here just to wrap up the first leg and we're back for the second leg. So I hope that explains to Nigerians why we are here today. And to explain to others the need not to be afraid. The time for fear is over. It's over. Your parents were afraid in 1960. What did you get there? Nothing. 1967, people were afraid. They killed 3 million people between 1967 and 1970. People were afraid in 1979. They still killed people. 1983, your parents were afraid of Buhari war against indiscipline. What did you gain from it? Nothing. Nothing. When Babangida came, you were afraid of structural adjustment, adjustment program. What did he do for you? Nothing. Nothing. When Abacha came, he annulled the election and jailed everybody. What did he do for you? Nothing. What did he do for him? Awful. Nothing. Obasanjo came, did his nonsense. What did he do for you? They only sold houses in this Abuja and themselves. And then they went and brought a dead man to rule Nigeria, Yara Adwa. And then when Yara Adwa died, they went and brought an idiot to replace him. And now they have brought a blind man. To run Nigeria. It is important and it should not be lost on Nigerian youth that this battle is not just cherry picking for this brutality here, school fees there. We need a revolution to liberate yourself. Don't let anybody deceive you that another package election in 2023 will change your objective conditions. They have already written the election results, they have determined it, and that is why they keep telling you to excite you that they have now passed a law called the Electronic Transmission of uh, Results. If you rig election, is that not what you transmit? They are not doing electronic voting. Even if it's electronic voting, people who are stealing your money in electronic transactions in banks, what will it take them to steal your votes? Nothing. In very, the voting very easy to do. This is what they do for a living. So forget it. Please, let's all gather together and put an end to our misery once and for all.
I thank you once again. If you have more questions for me, you have to come back at 5 p.m. What, what time? What time? 5 p.m. Yeah, yeah, here, same day, yeah, here. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I know of Lagos, I know of Kaduna, uh, uh, I know of Kaduna, uh, Kaduna uh, 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 Kwara, uh, but I've not checked I mean, uh, 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 what's actually going on there. Sorry, this, yeah. I, I just want to. And also, it's happening in Toronto, California, uh, uh, London, and Manchester. I just spoke to a man outside who said, uh, uh, let me move uh, round. We think about entering protest last year. But the birth of the uh, Youth Democratic Party, of which is the chairman, a certain barrier of a man. I am not aware of, and we are not talking political party. No, here, excuse me. No, he no. Said, There's no that I'm not aware of any political party that was battered or NSAS. Excuse me, I have a question. The only, the, only, the only coalition that came out of NSAS is the coalition of resistance against oppression. Yes, sir. Don't, don't come and advertise party to NSAS. Excuse me, I have a question for you here. Yes. Um, uh, the federal government has uh, constantly denying that uh, um, there was no shooting, no, no massacre in Lekki. Even Lai Mohammed, the minister of the president, I denied that. I think that was the position of the government since last year. So what do you have to say to this? You are a media person. Was there shooting at Lekki? Yes. yes. Okay. So if they deny that there was no shooting and they're shooting, start from there. And when they shot, who did they shoot at? Did they shoot at goats? They shot at human beings. There is physical evidence, digital evidence, there are bullet casings, investigations have been made that the army was there, the name of the army officer who went there is known, all the army officers that went there are well known, you have all the information you need in the public domain, the the you can see the picture here, yeah? corona, everybody has given a report that people were died at Lekki, so why are we still going back arguing that the federal government, the federal government uh, trading, uh, stock in trade is lying. Is the federal government of lies when they kill Shiites, even though we found their, bed, their dead bodies, they lied about it. When they kill their friends, they, they lie, lie about it. it. When they kill students, they lie about it. When they kill Adodi, they lied about it. When they kill Azaki Biam, they lied about it. What has the federal government never lied about to you that you are quoting them in front of us? And the job of the Minister of Information is misinformation and disinformation. And this particular notorious man you mentioned, what is his name again? Is a liar. That, that particular man is going to die in lie. He will lie of his death day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Brother Amri. Calm down, calm down. You know we are sick, back. Mm. Yeah, go on. Hey. It's been 12 months now. Yeah. Yes. It's been 12 months now. The five demands are yet to be met by the yes. federal government. And today is one year remembrance. Um, about to, yes. What's your take on this? I never believed that the federal government was going to meet any demands. And they did not disappoint in that regard. But having said that, ENSA's rebellion, as I like to call it, is not about any five demands. It has a demand that can be met. It's a demand for a fundamental overhaul of the system that is decayed. And there's nobody who is managing the decadence who can reform itself. So, except you are asking them to park and go, that is what is embedded in the NSAS rebellion as far as I'm concerned. The five demands they are talking about are superficial in nature. Uh, they are demanding for police welfare, mm. the congestion of uh, police cells, punishment of the policemen who were involved in SARS atrocities. Mm -hmm. You ask yourself if they have even decommissioned any SARS police. If you are in doubt, go to Abatio in Abuja, in Apo area. They are still very much alive. 
since that event happened in 2020. In January, SARS people broke my nose. The woman who shot me here works for SARS. Atine. They are still very much alive. So they are not interested in solving those problems, but we are also not interested in superficial solutions. We want fundamental solutions to be brought to bear on this country. We are past the stage of, you know, all these uh, uh, superficial massages. Okay. Please, uh, hold on. My problem. colleague is uh, at the, this team, the briefing of uh, Lai Mohammed. I want to ask her what is it about so I can throw the question. Hello, Roluke. Hello? Hello, joking in Lai Mohammed's soldier. I'm going to ask one question about the briefing. The briefing you posted on the platform. Kill Lai Mohammed, sir. Kill us all. Me or Rini, no massacre. That's what Lai Mohammed said. Okay, so what's your reaction? Thank you very much. He said there's no massacre. I just reacted to Lai Mohammed. <coughs> it would be a waste of my precious time to be responding to someone who has lies ingrained in his DNA. Yes. It's, it's made. It's here to do. It's made of, you know, DNA, made of lies. If lie, Mohammed tells you the truth, that's the end of the world. Thank you. Okay, today the mark today. Today, of course, something has been achieved so far today. I want to ask. Of course, we see the police have been calm, putting everything under control. They were in calm. They were in calm. We calmed them down. How did you calm them down? Oh, you should, you should have followed us. <laughs> so we have known that we calm them down. Okay. Yes. So does it does it imply but today? Does it imply that you're going to resume the protest again for this demand? Well, this particular protest is meant for today, and there will be a second leg today. It is up to the youth to decide when they continue with this massive protest that will liberate them. The ultimate goal is liberation. This is just somewhat of a celebration of an event that happened or a commemoration of an event that happened in 2020 that we deem worthy. This is not part of the processes in the future that will confront the oppressors until the surrender. Thank you very much. Despite the fact that the demands are also in favor of the police, what do you think about the fact that they are still out here today to truncate the movement? The police was never designed to uh, protect the Nigerian people. You should go and read about the, the history of Nigerian police. It was set up uh, by the Royal at the point by the Royal Niger Company as the Royal Niger Constabulary in 1900 to protect the interests of the British. At the time, it was called the Hausa Constabulary. At the time, it was called the Southern Nigerian Constabulary. There used to be a Northern Nigeria Constabulary before it became the Nigeria Police Force. And by that time, it has cemented its image as a protector of the status quo. So for us to get a police that will really work for us today, we might need to dissolve this current police force and remove the word force and make it a Nigerian Police Commission or Department because their career is rooted in violence and oppression. Their history and their establishment is rooted in oppression of poor people, is rooted in protection of very important personalities, VIPs. Everything they are doing today is to protect the VIPs against masses. So it doesn't matter how many times you protest in their support. This police can never change, except to change Nigeria itself. How can we have presidents like them and it's hard for us to eat outside here? How can we have people like them and the Wabang and the one who do fight for trade? Go out at 20 naira, what that is from the ground? And it's now we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not planting water. How can we in this country someone cannot eat good thing? If you want to eat something good, you'll be you'll be you'll be, you'll be burning to the expensive and we're gonna fire them. Then they get out. They need, to, they, they need to change things about this country, it's unfair. How can we buy Gary for 500 food? 600 and we'll do a Gary, Gary, or Gary, and buy 15 and one cup of one. 
cry. Since you are angry. I'm really, really angry. Yes. I'm angry. Yes. Yes. I'm angry. Yes. But how my father going to work? Let's see my father going to work. You will not spend money. Let's see you will not spend money. Let's see you will not go to school finish to see work now. Problem. Wait a This is a country. This is not a country. In fact, you never will be with them in that seat. You never be well with them. They are children will suffer. You never see anything. So what do you intend to do? Sir? So? What do you intend to do? I know, me, I don't, I want to say my mind. I need to change things in this country. He's, a, he's, a, he, he, he's, not, he's not doing his work as a president. He's, he's treating us like trash. We are human beings no, like him. Trash. We are human beings like him. How can we be buying daddy one food to 500 when you know that it's hard for us to Things get the money out here? Things are too expensive. Too expensive. How we build that be 20 naira? Get what the hell? And it's not good food again, sir. It's not to 60 liter again, no. It's now 20 liter. I'm saying my mind though, they won't be me, I'm not saying my mind, because enough is enough. Enough is enough. I will be angry till they change things in this country. Look how people are dying out here because of hunger. Some of us give their love for because of hunger, because of them to eat. This is a country, this is a country. You are suffering too much. The promise to We need it. 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 Right, they and they are stopping us. Yeah, yeah, it's not fair. Are, it's not fair at all. To me, it's not fair. We can't, we, we can't leave. There's no job. Nothing. When you ask that, even, even with Sam's being scrapped, has anything changed? You know, the call for police at the end of police times and all that. Nothing has changed. And please, they need to change everything. They know what to do. They say we are the leaders of tomorrow, but they are still the one ruling us. And they are not treating us well. They are not treating us well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We need change. Thank you so much. Oh, well, everyone. Until it cracks. young ones school. we have to go to school please don't make us go to school and come back and start running around on the street please don't make us look like a street girls or street boys we are not we need change we need to be working we need something good to call nigeria a, a, a place of peace and unity nigeria is called a place of peace and unity please let the peace grow let the peace come out please we have to say the truth to our nigerian government we need peace please we need change we need change not top to bottom we can't go top to bottom for you we have have to go forward. That's what we pray for. Thank you. Hello. Okay, you want to get her? Uh, 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 when you want to stop a riot from happening, when you want to ensure that the protest is not going to be right, don't be caught. You're not going to ensure that the protesters are not going to be right. If you want to protect protesters, you don't need guns. 
we had bouncers, we didn't carry bombs, and they are here to ensure that the protest does not get hijacked or degenerate. So you don't need guns to, to, to uh, guide people during protest. When they bring guns, they are there to show force and tell people that you don't have the right to protest, you don't have the right to vote. And that's what we are against. We believe that we have the right to vote, we have the right to protest. If they come for us, if they stop us from having that right to protest, they will come for you too, they will come for the press. They will ensure that you don't have the right to publish whatever they don't like. So that, that's, that, that's the point of us who always work together. We are the press. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know, give me great Nigerian people. More station is this. More they go, more they go. More they go, more they go. I'm in the middle of the day. Vampire. Ouch. We are here to actually commemorate the remembrance so so what do you do what do you do for a living you yourself what do you do I myself I'm in Nigeria. I just want to know how the situation the is. I need to 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 I to no, but you have to tell me your own, your own. What, what's your issue? 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 What's how our country is, you know, some kind of things like that. I was told that the police actually stopped you guys on your way to the National Assembly and to other yeah, places. Yeah, many times. So can you explain what happened I, in the morning? Actually, they are not around here. Okay, yeah, okay it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y